Today on Drawbly, we are looking at the art of Gop Gap. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are self taught artists documenting our journey of learning to draw, which is, of course, better with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here and share your artwork on Instagram with hashtag Drawbly. So, here on what we call Artist Adventures, we're slowing things down from the mindless scrolling on Instagram, Abby. Mm, mm, mindless. Mindless, which we've all done before. Mm -hmm. And we're going to find the juice. Or just what we <laughs> what we like to call the juice, which is something that this artist does very well. They do a lot of things very well, but we're gonna get in and look at some specific artworks and see what we can find. Okay, so right off the bat, what is it about this that is just so amazing? Because it's amazing. This is from like eight years ago, that first is and foremost. Incredible. And we're gonna go up through their timeline of some amazing stuff. It's so soft and yet so defined. I think that's absolutely stunning. So Gop Gap has a very strong fundamental understanding of appealing form. Mm -hmm. uh, this character on the right I uh, have created during the Appeal Academy, mm -hmm. which is my online program. That's yeah, the character that you go through familiar. the course and I teach using that character. I've also created the character on the left. I'll mm -hmm. actually show a couple renders of both of those here on screen Ooh, from my skulls. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, Gop Gap has a, a fantastic understanding of creating appealing form. And a lot of that has to do with the silhouette here when we're talking about 2D artworks. But um, I, I could sit here and talk about Gop Gap forever, but I'd love to hear what you think about their artwork. So I love how with the edges, the color almost spills off of the creation in like the softer areas. And yet we still get very, very defined forms. If you see the kind of those hazy edges where the color is almost like bursting off of the the form whereas with like the handle of the sword not so much mm -hmm. look at this texture and edges it's it's as if they had one big brush stroke and just erased to get the shape that they wanted um to I want create that textured edge you mean yeah, yeah yeah i'm not sure exactly what they did for that or if it's just like some kind of noise effect or what but like right. very textured very obviously like solid well-rendered shapes because they're then... still very well rendered it's not just one brush stroke that they erased because there's still like value shifts and highlights oh yeah for sure there's um, a ton of noise on this image as well yes the amount of noise is so well done i've played with the noise feature myself and i and then screwed it up many times yeah, yes just once so far oh, so oh, oh. i probably need to give it a few iterations look at the clouds here <gasps> Remember when we used to try to paint clouds early Drobly and we struggled so hard? I still really struggle and with clouds, And still really Abby. struggle, yes. Well, we never went back. <laughs> yeah. Do you know who this character is? No, who? I think you can just assume that anytime I ask you, do you know who this character is? It's you can Naruto. Just say, you can just say Goku. Goku. And Naruto. <laughs> Naruto. Naruto. Uh, you know who this is? Of course, yeah, of course. 11. This is so cute. Also very well done. Yes. Um, I love all, oh my gosh, look at the, t the texture here, first of all, to just like comment on again is really, really cool. Yeah. It makes it feel traditional. It does, it does, like the canvas texture. Um, just a really strong, consistent texture. Yes, but the shapes are just immaculate. Yeah, Look at the, I would love to sculpt this character. Yeah, and I love how like the ping pong ball is this tiny little shape right there in the center. The ping pong paddle is slightly larger. We got our small, medium, large rolls, and then the head also being in the center is our large shape, kind of juxtaposed with the hand. So if you like those small, medium, large rules, there you go. Mm, a lot of motion in this yes. image. And emotion. And emotion. Mm, yes, I love all the animals doing sports. They're so fun. Yes. Oh, uh, this is cute. Yeah, they're all they're all just like so amazing. I think, you know, the juice of Gop Gap, if I could like say one thing, is definitely just their fundamentals on creating really just appealing forms. Like yes. they are clearly, these are now like six to five years ago is where we're at right now uh -huh. in terms of the timeline. And it's just like, they were doing this eight years ago. They're still doing it today and they're only getting better. Like yeah. they're just, they're so insane. The, I keep consistently seeing like a pattern of like using small shapes with medium shapes and larger shapes. Mm -hmm. um, and I love that because that's something that I feel like is taught in a lot of fundamental classes is the rule of like a small, medium and large. Absolutely. And this is such a great example of using that to the, to the fullest here. Yeah. This is cool too. Uh, they're all just so amazing. And we'll go a little <laughs> faster here. 
Yeah, the expressions, the shapes <laughs> of the mouths are really fun there. Mm -hmm. um, their style has, a, you know, kind of fluctuated a little more towards the newer stuff where it's like less textured, mm -hmm. but it really depends on what they're creating because I have seen them more recently do some of that, you know, more textured work. Mm -hmm. It really just kind of depends on what they're doing. Mm -hmm. That older stuff that we were just looking at feels a little more kind of storybook, but they're still doing this really cool stuff with shape language This here. is so fun. Look at this Darth Vader. This is the best version of Darth Vader. <laughs> so uh, they're all slightly different, like here in terms of uh, design. Mm -hmm. I really like the top left one, especially his mask shape. Oh, the top yeah. right mask shape is really cool as well. I don't know. I like the bottom one with his short stubby legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then here we have, um, I don't know his name because I'm not a Star Wars guy. Oh, but... the guy played by Adam Driver, right? Yes, uh, Darth Driver. Ken is... Doku, I don't know. And this is Kylo Ren, oh! which we did not take a moment for us to pause and have Ben think of it. <laughs> this is, Ky he got it the first time. Yeah, I yeah. totally got it the first yeah. time. Yeah. This is the who? Who have you? Who's this? Wolverine. Wolverine from the X-Men. That's right. <laughs> the Beast. Is he always blue? He, that's not Wolverine, Abby. It's oh. The oh, no. Oh, no. No, Abby. Oh, no. All my, of course, looking fantastically <laughs> thin in some areas. Uh, and then, like, I, I'm not sure. These might be from an anime or something. These but are cool, though. I these are the super cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like here getting a little more noise in some different areas as well. Such a cool Ooh. design. I feel like with these smaller heads, it really calls us to focus more on the style and clothes. And I love that. Although the head and the face are still fascinating and uh, very A small cool. head on a, on a character like this actually makes the character feel bigger. That too. Um, just based on proportionality. This also f feels a little too small on the far left for me. Like, yeah, it makes her feel bigger. It makes her feel like she's like eight feet tall. Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe that's what they're going for. Maybe. But the head proportionally over here on the right feels a lot larger compared yeah. to the coat. I don't know. Um, oh, a car, which we hadn't seen yet, which was something I wanted to look at. Oh, yeah. And I believe that is our final image or two here. Another Dragon Ball Z character, or a couple Dragon Ball Ooh, Z characters. I love their puffy vests. Yes, they, Gap Gap is a master of many things, including puffy vests. I'm so pleased. <laughs> and if you would like to be pleased, click that like and subscribe button. And share your work on Instagram with hashtag Drawbly, because drawing is better with friends. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Bye. Goomba. If you met Gop Gap, what would you tell them? I would say, first and foremost, you are the master of drawing puffy vests. Mm, mm -hmm. 